I wanted to do a quick video for the three bar map sensor I installed in my 2014 SHO. If I could do it again, there were a few things I would have done differently. I figured I'd give everyone the details so you can save some money on your EcoBoost upgrades. For those of you who are not familiar with the map sensors, they measure the manifold absolute pressure in your intake manifold. The ECU uses this information to calculate air density and the engine's mass airflow rate for fuel delivery. In short, it measures boost levels in the intake manifold. There are several variations of the map sensors used on the Ford vehicles. Most common are the 2-bar and the 3-bar sensors. For my application, the show comes with a factory installed 2-bar sensor, which only permits reading pressures up to about 14.5 pounds. The 3-bar replacement allows for accurate reading up to 29.5 pounds. If you were to change the sensor, you have to combine the sensor with a tuner and a tune file specific to the 3-bar sensor. A car running a 2-bar tune will not work with a 3-bar sensor and vice versa. I purchased my 3-bar map sensor from Livernoy for $74.99. After receiving the map sensor, I found that it was a Motorcraft CX2231 sensor assembly. This particular part can be commonly used for the F-150s, Ford Taurus shows, Explorer Sports, Lincoln MKS, and the new Mustang Fastback EcoBoost engines. After doing quick research on the internet, I found this part on rockauto.com for $46. While sites like Unleashed Tuning do sell the part for the same price, we're talking about a 38% markup on the map sensors. I could have saved myself $25 on the purchase if I would have done a little more research. I guess that's a lesson learned and something that you can avoid following this video. To install the map sensor, it's as easy as taking off the engine cover, unscrewing a single screw, wiggling the sensor off the intake manifold, and unplugging it from the wiring harness. After plugging in the new sensor, I just reinstalled the sensor in the intake manifold and secured it with a screw. Don't forget to install a 3-bar tune after or your car will not run properly. And that's it. You have a new map sensor installed. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I will be discussing many other modifications like exhaust, heat soak, downpipes, and other tangents on cars and trucks.